हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू कॉल क्लासेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बी एस सी बी एस सी एच वन थ्री वन असाइनमेंट सोल्यूशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स राइट डाउन द बोन हेबर साइकिल फॉर कैल्शियम क्लोराइड फॉर्मेशन इन कैल्शियम क्लोराइड कैल्शियम इज इन सॉलिड स्टेट नेचुरली सो वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इन द गैस the heat required to change the solid state into gaseous state is known as heat of sublimation that is 1 to 1 kJ per mole and chlorine gas it uh, it is required to change its mole to chlorine in gaseous form and the dissociation energy is known as uh, energy of dissociation or heat of dissociation that is 242.8 value and now the uh, sublimated calcium in the gaseous form is now converted in it, in its ionic form that is calcium to positive by losing two electrons and it is ionized that is why it is known as energy of ionization that is that have value uh, of about 2000 uh, or 2500 kJ per mole now chlorine has to uh, ionized to form chloride ion and or in the anionic form so it uh, gaining it uh, it is going to gain two electrons to form anionic uh, chloride ion so uh, the total energy the total formula for the bone haber cycle is equals to uh, energy of heat of formation is equals to heat of sublimation dissociation heat plus ionization energy plus uh heat uh, of lattice so all values we have to substitute and we have we can find the lattice heat energy but we have value formation uh, heat formation that is minus 795 so we have to substitute all the values and by adding or subtraction we can able to find the lattice energy so it is uh, here given a cyclic form of the calcium uh, chloride uh, formation uh, to find the heat uh, lattice energy uh, calcium firstly calcium it is formed in gaseous form then it get ionized similarly for chloride it is already in the gaseous form but it has to be uh, dissociate in a uh, single mole and uh, different different and total two mole and it uh, get readily ionized so the total energy uh, of the formation total heat of the formation it is already given minus 79.95 and 795 so uh, heat lattice heat energy we can find by adding the given values uh, second question is discuss the factors which affect the solubility of ionic solids in water ionic solids the solids which get ionized for example sodium chloride so uh, it can readily soluble in water but what are the factors though uh, in answer we have to discuss those factors first is salts in which both anion and cation are singly charged for example uh, sodium chloride na positive and cl negative both uh, ions are singly charged singly charged means only one positive on the cation and one negative sign on the anionic uh, anionic or uh, singly charged are generally soluble it means uh, more the charge of positive uh, whether it is positive or negative uh, more the negative more the positive or negative charge the solubility get uh, dis uh, De uh, decreased salt in which both cation and anions are multiply charged are generally soluble salts have uh, salts that have degree of covalency often low having low solubility for example silver salt or ferrous sulfide uh, but there is a uh, exceptional case regarding the solubility of anionic compounds in the water uh the exceptional behavior of solubility of some ionic solid salts in water can be explained on the basis of fasan rule but we are not here need to explain the fasan rule because the question is regarding only about the um, solubility of the salts but uh, we had no uh, here need to explain the uh, fasan rule in detail which predict the covalent character in the ionic compound so here we have done question number 6 or uh, uh, readily or continuously 
we are going to upload the values and uh, rest of the questions will be uploaded soon so the stu those students uh, those do not completed the fifth question uh, can visit our channel and playlist uh, jbscg uh, assignment solution 2023 so we will uh, meet with the next video uh, till then watch this video and note the question number 6 both part a and b thank you